Well, hello again, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, dogs and foxes, cardboard crawlers all across the globe. How are you this fine Thursday evening? Old cardboard crawlers and uh, the XL chassis in blue is uh, doing all right over here. Uh, Blue Dog, you won't see him in the background. I let him out at this little area before I started filming because uh, it is a parking lot area and it's hard to keep track of him. So he went out and went potty here and took care of his business and did his thing and now he's just sitting in the car keeping an eye on things for us. Making sure we keep that rubber side down. And speaking of rubber, this is that... Those, those tires that I got from Eric at EX Lewis RC looking good and working even better. They are great little tires. They really get in the rocks and, and give you grip where you need it. They work good in the dirt. I really, really haven't had them in much wet on much wet surface. I meant to get out in the rocks when it was raining the other day and I didn't, but I'm sure I will one of these days. I don't know that they're gonna replace my scramblers on this rig, but they seem to be working really well and uh, I'm gonna run them for a while and, and just see how things go. Um, I like the way they're working with that smaller foam in them. Um, I, I do notice uh, some pretty decent compression here and there where, where it's necessary. You know, I don't run super heavy trucks. This truck can't be more than, I doubt it's more than 400 grams. It's probably in the 300 and some odd range. I'll throw it on the scale here one day soon and give you an update on that. But it's, uh, it's a sweet little rig and uh, there's my little rig there parked in the sh sh shadows. Um, but this is just a, there's a little downhill that comes from a parking lot and comes down to another parking lot. And they put a line of rocks. So it's about 100 yards long. And then there's a couple of piles intermixed in this long run of rocks. And, and, uh, and then there's a drainage back there where that, uh, that telephone pole was directly behind me. There's a little drainage that comes from one of the other parking lots above us and that has a rock a full rock section but they aren't as big as these rocks the other ones are more like a we'll call it a four inch minus section and these are probably eight inch minus and then you know that's some four and six inch minus the tires are about to touch right there and uh, so the other rocks are small kind of like that one where the rear tires on all over up there but then there's the, the, this section of rocks has this really nice intermixed rock and dirt and uh, where the leaves are all sitting in here. I did bring the blower. Um, I just didn't think I was going to be using this long of a section. I kind of blew off where I normally crawl on this little hill. And then I just ended up starting over by the car and trying to pick a line all the way through over to the hill. And uh, yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed doing it that way. And I just kind of had to zigzag through the rocks and pick a couple lines right here. I stacked a couple rocks because it was just kind of a dead zone. Just came through some leaves. And I didn't want to get down into too many of the big bay rocks down there to the hard right. Uh, but then this rock was just, you know, they're, they're, some of them are just already there. I really didn't place more than, I don't know. 10 rocks to, to move a couple, you know, I moved about 10 rocks around this evening just to, to get some things uh, to where it was more aesthetically pleasing um, for the truck to drive over rather than just through leaves or dirt, you know, but um, a little bit, a little combination of both is kind of nice. And, you know, just trying to, like I said, zigzag my way through here and find the lines. And you can see there some good tire compression there up in the front. So these uh, Hobby Soul mud terrains are a pretty nice option for a tire. If you're looking for something in this 61.4 
62 millimeter size, whatever it is, it's uh, they're about 62 millimeters and they're about 24 millimeters wide, so uh, might be a little wider than the RC four wheel drive mud terrains, but I'm sure the price on these is quite a bit better. Um, and they aren't quite as aggressive. I noticed there's that center tread pattern there that seems more road worthy. Um, and they they just don't, they just aren't quite as aggressive. Yeah, man, as just the, filming. As the RC all wheel drive. Yeah. Or RC four wheel drive tires. Um, so, you know, it's kind of that midway point, uh, you know, and if you're looking for something like this, uh, highly recommend it. I really thank Eric for these. Uh, he sent them over to me. I guess he bought a bunch. He bought them in bulk. You know, he bought like, I don't know if it was 10 sets or six or eight sets or something, but he sent me over a set. And I'll have to hook him up with something. It looks like he has a basement area of rocks. Maybe I'll send him a box of rocks. That's always a good thing to do for people. Uh, so, yeah, and then on these steelies, I, like I said before, I hadn't been able to put these steel wheels together on, an, well, I had only tried them on one set of tires and I just failed miserably. Like, it, they were just a little thick, you know. Uh, some of these uh, inner rings are just a little different. So, um, I would maybe like to think about putting some rings on these some brass rings to make them a little heavier I like to have that weight down low that's something that's definitely keeps this rig a little bit lighter right at the moment it probably used to be a little heavier with the scramblers in it uh, but yeah not not a huge deal it, it has a I have the brass kit on these portals so it's running brass knuckles and brass end plates on the portal kit uh, these are this is a nice design portal it's it's a it's a chinese nylon portal that maz design sells and mofo sells a set maz just happens to get his ordered up with the cvds in them so if you have a set from uh mofo or i think DKYY sells them, Hobby Soul might sell them, a couple other people may sell them, um, and you're looking for a set of CBDs for them, by all means hit Maz up, I think he's got them for like $12.99 or $14.99, it's reason, really reasonable, and they they just slip right in, they're, they're the correct um, CBDs for him. he sells them separate, so that's kind of nice, man, scripting that carbon fiber right up there on that rock on that one there, but as you can see, it's I'm just located behind a a retail area here there's like a, a golf cart store slash they might sell a couple of um, uh, all-terrain vehicles I don't think they sell quads and, and motorcycles and all that but they might sell some side-by-sides uh, farm style side-by-sides uh, and then there's you know like a Domino's and a, and a Jersey Mike's and a you know it's the it's a Harris Teeter shopping center a couple other little stores in there and so you know if I if I do it right and don't really show the store it seems like we're off in the woods crawling here but we all know that we're not these are just little tiny you know fit in a shoebox size vehicles for those of you that don't know what a 24 scale vehicle is it literally you know fits in a shoebox with the controller um, you know they're eight or ten inches long from tip to tip um, the, the, this and this is the longer wheelbase of the two this is an xl chassis um, it's the gladiator length uh wheelbase so i think what 155 millimeters and then uh, c10 jlu wheelbase is uh 133 i believe Let's not quote me on that, but I believe that that's what they are. So yeah, just coming around the rock, you know, it's, like I said, I'm just zigzagging back and forth so you can see I've moved down the lane just a little bit and then I come by this tree. 
I've been right here before, uh, just around the corner from, the, just around this tree is where my little uphill section starts and that's where I, I originally came to drive on that, but I just got distracted by the rest of it here today. And um, so, yeah, having fun with that. And uh, it, it was fun to come down the line like this especially in the dark because it just you know all these rocks they've got there's really good rocks in here really fun lines to drive on and, and uh, good lines for filming so and then right here is where I kind of I kind of came through the dirt around the tree and then popped up onto the rocks where it starts to give me a little bit of uphill here and, uh, you know, I mean, this pile's like three and a half, four feet tall, not even four feet tall, three feet tall. And it's on the side of, a, of an incline. It's a little slope here, uh, you know, like a 30 degree slope. And then you've got the slope of the rocks. You can see the pile there. And uh, so it, it makes it a little bit fun. And I had moved some rocks around here previously, making trails, quote unquote trails, making a route, so to speak and um, I didn't really move much around. It was, like the rain has been here and like someone has come and moved some of these rocks around. Um, one of the guys at the golf cart place had seen me mess with my car and he said that he had, uh, I think he had a Gen 8. Gen 8. Uh, and so he was thinking that he might bring his car out one day or maybe he did, maybe he moved some rocks around. Maybe someone came and grabbed some rocks, kind of like I do every once in a while. Um, you know, and a good spot to get them from. It's kind of an excess little pile. This is a fun little around the edge kind of thing, like it, it kind of drops off there and I had to stick, you know, stay in the, in the line there. And then uh, I just circled around, went up to the top, circled around and then started coming back down the hill. And uh, you know how it goes. Remember, if you like this content, and you've made it this far, man, you guys are heroes, I tell you what, uh, if you listening to me the whole time. Uh, like this, if you do like this content, please subscribe, share it with a friend, show it to your mom, show it to your grandma, show it to your kids, who knows, you know, you might get your kids into uh, running some cars if they see they can get out there and film them and have some fun with them and, you know, uh, show them to your grandkids, who knows who wants to see this kind of stuff and enjoy it so hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up button hit that notification bell to let you know when i'm putting out new content which is all the time trying to put out content i have over 800 videos and uh, i hope you watch some of them uh, i know that you know my subscriber count's getting higher and i really appreciate all of you have a great day Cardboard crawlers, out.